So in standard automated perimetry, automated perimetry, which is a test of your visual field, and in our clinic we are using the Humphrey visual field. In standard automated perimetry, the computerized visual field, we get quantitative assessment of the hill of vision, quantitative. So the hill of vision is the highest peak is at your fovea, right there, and as you move away from the fovea, the sensitivity in decibels drops. You, of course, have an absolute scotoma to the, to the zero because that's the blind spot. You're literally blind there because there's no photoreceptor on the optic nerve head. So the hill of vision is like a hill surrounded by an ocean of blindness, and we can measure that hill in a quantitative manner in decibels using standard automated perimetry. One of the numbers that we're going to be looking at, which is the average of all the points, is called the mean deviation. The deviation, on average, compared against age match controls. Mean deviation. The mean is the average. There's this other number that you wanted to know about, which is the pattern standard deviation. And the pattern is revealing a pattern within the depression of the hill and vision. And it's detecting irregularity across the field. So what the pattern standard deviation is doing is trying to look for a pattern embedded in the field effect. And so the typical patterns and if, are arcuate, and you can watch the, the video on the germ scotoma, because the nerve fiber layer is arcuate in shape and inserts into the blind spot. A pattern standard deviation can detect that you have a decrease in that portion of your field and that a pattern is embedded in the pushing down of the hill of vision. So the mean deviation represents how bad the field is overall against average age match controls with a single number. And so if you get a number like minus 16 dB, that's telling you this whole hill of vision, all the points together, divided by the number of points, on average, you have 16 decibels of loss on average. And that's why the mean deviation is kind of a good roll-up number that you can use as a summary of the field in one single number. So if it was minus 16 and now it's minus 2 dB, you know that field is getting better on average. However, in glaucoma and in neurop, what we're looking for is not just how bad is the heel pushed down, but is there a pattern embedded in the depression? Is there irregularity across the visual field? So, for example, if you have a hill that is like this, and then all of a sudden it drops off to, to nothing with a very steep line like this, because a, a whole hill was chopped down, that will be a pattern embedded in the visual field defect, and that pattern will look like that. A uh, hemianopsia, that could be in both eyes, in the same place, homonymous hemianopsia, or temporal, in both eyes, bitemporal hemianopsia, and in glaucoma, it will generate altitudinal or arcuate germ scotomas. The pattern standard deviation measures the irregularity in the field and detects a pattern of deviation embedded inside the hill of vision's reduction and deviation from normal.